Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Multiverse. Today, we're going to be continuing the story of what if Shadow actually was an android. In this alternate timeline, Shadow died after colliding with the Earth at the end of Sonic Adventure 2. Meaning that the Shadow in Sonic Heroes and the game Shadow the Hedgehog really was just an android copy. However, this prototype Shadow Android is special. He's 90% Shadow, with only 10% being mechanical. With his body, and more importantly, his brain being mostly organic, he was far more capable of thinking for himself. This has sent him on a path, not only to discover what he is, but what his purpose is. And after trying to get information from Black Doom, he is now on hot pursuit of Dr. Eggman, hoping to get some answers. Shadow Android race through the war-torn skies as Eggman's forces and the Black Arms engaged in combat. He knew that if he could force both groups to retreat, he could hitch a ride on one of the Doctor's airships. So, he destroyed exactly four of each battleship, forcing them to retreat. The metallic faker snuck aboard one of Eggman's battleships as it departed, leaving the foreign alien sky troops far behind. Black Doom watched from the distance. Hmm, how curious. Perhaps this could be useful. Before long, Eggman's battleship arrived on what was formerly known as Prison Island, now one of his many bases of operation, codename Iron Jungle. As Shadow Android snuck off of the battleship, something caught his eye, something he wasn't expecting to find here. Standing before him was a figure that at first glance looked like a hedgehog, but upon closer inspection had the same metallic spines as Shadow Android. The only difference between the two of them was that Shadow Android had yellow stripes, while this figure had red. Shadow Android's robotic eyes quickly glanced around. He saw several more of these same metallic fakers. The sight of these machines brought back a memory. After Team Dark defeated whom they assumed was Dr. Eggman, Shadow Android had discovered a machine closely resembling himself. He hadn't given it much thought. After all, that same day, he learned that the Doctor had created a robotic copy of Sonic. But now, seeing these machines standing before him, it all made sense. I'm not the only replica. The Doctor, he's mass-produced us. But for what? Shadow Android could suddenly hear the hummering of the Eggmobile. Speak of the devil. All non-essential drones, we are under attack. You are permitted to use any means necessary to stop this intruder. This base must stand if we have any chance against the Black Arms. Shadow Android prepared himself for a battle. However, he quickly realized that he was not the intruder the doctor was referring to. Gunfire and explosions could be heard in the distance. Shadow Android knew who it was. Worthless consumer models, you wish to impede my progress. Solution, obliterate obstacles. One by one, hordes of Eggman robots were being mowed down by none other than E-123 Omega. Shadow Android approached the automaton. Omega, what are you doing here? I have tracked down the doctor to this location. I intend on destroying him. You may join me if you wish. I tracked down the doctor to get the truth about my past. I believe he may have created me. Once I get what I've come for, I'll gladly help you destroy him. With the alliance set, the two robotic antiheroes set out to find the doctor. The pair discovered Eggman trying to make a clean getaway in the egg balloon. Omega began to fire his armada of weapons towards the egg balloon. Rockets and missiles erupted like the 4th of July, bringing down the blimp. 
However, the doctor was not one to accept defeat. From the metal shell of the egg balloon ripped out the egg breaker. From the cockpit of this 20-foot tall hulking beast, Dr. Eggman looked down at his assailants. Omega, Shadow, you traitors! Omega glared back at his creator with murderous intent. Dr. Eggman, before I tear you limb from limb, you will regret underestimating my potential. Shadow Android interrupted the confrontation. Dr. Eggman, I need to know. Those androids, the ones like me, who are we based on? What is our purpose? Ho ho ho, very well. If it means that much to you, I suppose I can tell you as a final request. My grandfather was a brilliant inventor and created an immortal ultimate life form. But he is no more, so I pledge to recreate him and lead the glorious Eggman Empire to victory. You, Proto, were meant to be my greatest creation, but now you have betrayed your master. For your insolence, you and Omega will share a space in the scrap heap. Eggbreaker, full power! The mech raised its spiky fist, slamming down between the two machines. With that, a battle broke out between the Egg Breaker and the mechanical members of Team Dark. The Egg Breaker was truly a formidable machine. From a distance, it tried to split Proto in half with a long-range laser. However, with the android's superior speed, he was able to dodge the attack. Urgh, I don't have time for you, you worthless prototype. Androids, advance! Mass quantities of shadow androids began to flood the arena. Although individually they're no match for Proto, as a unit they were incredibly deadly. The shadow androids kept their predecessor busy with a series of coordinated homing attacks and smart bombs. Meanwhile, Omega was still battling the egg breaker 1v1. However, he was losing. Ho ho ho! This machine might be a prototype, but it's more than enough to deal with the likes of you, Omega. The Egg Breaker slammed its mace arm down onto Omega, hoping to stomp out the machine once and for all. However, to the doctor's dismay, Omega's superior strength began pushing up against the spike ball. It took everything Omega had, and his circuits began to spark, but he was overpowering the mech. Hydraulics exceeding estimated limits. I told you, Doctor, you would regret underestimating my potential. And with a firm grip on the mace, Omega began to lift the entire egg breaker off of the ground, raising the entire mech into the air over his head in an arching motion and slamming the egg breaker into the ground behind him. With the egg breaker completely and utterly trashed, the Doctor tried to crawl away. However, as he looked up, he saw the yellow rocket boots of Proto. Goodbye, Doctor. Wait, Proto, don't! All it took was one swift motion. And with that, Proto, the prototype shadow android, had ended the life of his creator. However, he didn't feel what he was expecting. He didn't feel fulfillment... He didn't feel joy, but he did feel a stinging in the back of his head, a sensation he couldn't quite describe, and he could feel someone else. <laughs> well done. Both Omega and Proto looked back to see the unannounced intruder. At that moment, the stinging intensified. Proto clenched his head. It was as if someone else was trying to gain access to his mind. You've impressed me, Proto. You must be the first specimen to ever do that in 50 years. The stinging intensified with every word that left Black Doom's non-existent mouth. You've proven that when you set your mind to something... You achieve it, 
And now that mind is mine to control. Along with all of your brothers, you will serve the Black Arms well. <laughs> and this is where we're leaving this what if for right now. What do you think will happen now that Black Doom knows of the existence of the Shadow Androids and has psychic control of them due to their blood? What do you think will happen next in this timeline? And what do you guys think of the name Proto the Hedgehog? It's honestly a lot quicker to say than Shadow Android repeatedly. Trust me, it gets really old recording that. Plus, Proto, Shadow, you know, it kind of sounds cool. Anyway, I hope you all have a good day. See you next time.